Hello everyone, Moose Torrent here, and in this video I'm going to answer one of my most asked questions, which is, how do I get my 27% physical attack gems? Pretty simple, you just farm the first boss at a Chalice Dungeon, and I'm sure a lot of people already know this, so I'm actually going to show you three other things about that dungeon that you may or may not know, just bah, just for the fun of it. I guess. <laughs> Anyways, in order to do some of the farming, you're going to want to have an eye rune equipped. I have my plus 100 eye rune, so that'll give me a discovery of 200, which is pretty good. Once you have that, Head over to your favorite tombstone and type in this glyph. In order to do it, you're actually going to have to go through most of the dungeons and complete the Great Thumeru Ill Chalice and make a Thumeru Ill Root Chalice with all three Fetid, Rotted, and Cursed Offerings, which is going to be kind of time consuming, but the fastest way to do it is to go through Mario Chalice, Central through Mario Chalice, Lower through Mario Chalice, and then head over to Ailing Lauren, and then Lower Lauren. Um, is, is probably optional. If you want to get some items, you can go there. I would, I usually do the is. And then head back to Thumeru, through the Defiled Chalice, and the Great Thumeru Ill Chalice, and finally you can make your Thumeru Ill Root Chalice with all the modifiers. And this will allow you to search all of the glyphs so you won't have to worry about any. The one we're going to use this time is PWMF22GU. Okay. By the way, shout out to Lionheart70 for making this for us. And let's go. Okay, from the start here, just run straight. Pretty simple so far. You can open this golden gate, and I would suggest hitting this lamp right here, just in case you die. You'll come right back here. And depending on which gem you're farming, you actually might want to die, so definitely good to hit that. You're actually going to reach the first spot already. This is the purple aura dog right here. This is how I got my 13 and 13.5 poison gems for my poison video. Just farming this guy. Let's see what he got me this time. There it is, Cursed Murky Damp Blood Gem 5. It's only a 5, so it's probably a little lower. Yeah, this is the 13. But I also have 13.5 and 14. All from this beautiful house. Next thing you're going to want to do is run straight down the stairs and hang a left. This enemy here will drop a gem with somewhere around 21% physical damage and pretty decent second ability as well. He does do a ton of damage, so be careful. Son of a... So this is one of the harder enemies to farm. But, if you get used to him, he's definitely doable. See, not too bad. You just gotta pay attention to what you're doing. And we got a Cursed Tempering Damp Blood Gem 6. Let's see what that is. Could be that one. Could be that one. Could be that one. So as you can see, he drops a physical percentage with an added effect and a negative. Looks like the best one I got here is 21% plus 
plus a flat 18.2 physical. So if you like those kind of gems, here's a good spot for that. And the third gem you can get is right outside the other side of the hallway. By the time you get there, these guys will be full of poison and starting to die, so that'll make things easier for you. They do a lot of damage because of, oh god, <laughs> that tall witch you just saw through the fireball. He will buff them and make them do extra damage. That combined with their numbers and stagger can be quite annoying, but the poison and their low damage really makes things a lot easier for you. So we killed that guy, and we got the Cursed Pulsing Damp Blood Gem 5. This is the gem that gives you a continuous HP recovery of plus 5, and you get a random negative stat on that as well, because it is cursed. You're going to want to go with um, reduces durability on that one because being that weapons don't have a durability or at least it never goes down no matter how much you shoot it the cursed part is going to be pretty negligible doing nothing actually so you're just going to get the plus 5 HP region on that one and we have arrived at the Finale, this is where you get the 27% attack gems. You're just going to farm this boss over and over again. If this is the only one you want, you can just flip the switch and open this gate and kill these guys over and over again. Depending on your build, you're going to either want to do plunging attacks and plunge them to death or parry them and repost them. Strength weapons are usually better for the plunging attack because they will do a little more damage and stagger the watchers. And as you just saw there, you can hit them both at once sometimes. And the skill build is going to do a lot more damage in the repost, so I'd go with that. And you just basically do this over and over again until they die. Yay, we did it. Okay, so we got a Cursed Tempering Damp Blood Gem 6. And that one is one of these. So we had a 26.3 and a 27.2. I don't remember which one was already there, but both of them are good. I'd rather go with the 26 because the attack versus the kin down is not going to matter at all in PvP. Anyways, like I said, you just do that over and over again until you get the gem you want. This is Moose Torrent, and I'll be back with another video for you guys shortly.